Hey guys, what's up? This is TechCator here uh, with a review today of an app called Sketchbook Pro for the Mac. Uh, so let's open up the app. Uh, so here it is. You can see uh, it's a drawing app or an art app, and it's really uh, it's pretty affordable. So it's more for the entry level uh, artist or maybe someone who just wants this as a supplement to their current programs because it does have a lot of uh, support for different brushes and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Uh, but it, it's really it's pretty, it's really quite affordable, so I think it's in anybody's budget, unlike something like Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever. Uh, so let's just jump right in here. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of brushes you can use with this app. You know, they have a pencil, uh, an airbrush, a marker, you know, a regular brush, and these are just the ones that come with it. A, a pen, uh, you can blur stuff, you can... I'm sorry, that was smudge. You can blur uh, or smudge or sharpen uh, any of those. You know, they have different, a soft, a hard eraser, a soft eraser, various different things. And you can also make your own brush. So I've just kind of fiddled around with the settings and made this brush here, like one just to do simple drawings. Uh, so let me just clear this out, show you what this is capable of. I really, one thing I don't like about this app uh, but it's it's really unavoidable as far as drawing apps go is if you don't have a tablet It's gonna be very hard for you to get any sort of good results because of the fact that a lot of the features are so tablet based But with the price of tablets so low these days uh, It's it's really not all that out of reach for most people. So I think that's fine uh, But that's really one problem. I see with it, but uh, So maybe it wouldn't be for everyone but uh, What is good is if you do have a tablet it's pressure sensitive. So if I push down hard I can get a dark uh, line, but if I just put down lightly, I can get a thin, slightly lighter line. Uh, uh, so that's that's a very nice feature that you wouldn't see in something like Microsoft Paint uh, or whatnot. And considering that the Mac doesn't really come with any sort of primary drawing app, I think this is a good supplement to what your computer already comes with, considering it's only thirty dollars. Uh, and then there's also layers. Uh, so if I just go to the layers window here. They have this new fe they have this feature on here so you can just slash through things and create a new layer. So I have a layer here. I'm just going to draw a face. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there we go. He looks kind of evil. <laughs> I'm not the best artist in the whole world, but whatever. This is just for demonstration. Uh, and then I can just go back to my background layer. And let's say I want to color it in. Can pick a color. Let's just pick. Let's make his face red. So I can just start coloring it. And as you see, because it's the layers, just like in Photoshop or whatever, it'll color under him. So that's a very good feature. And on the uh, iPad version, they also they also have this. I don't know about the iPhone version. I don't own it uh, because I really don't have a stylus for my iPhone, and I really wouldn't see much use for it. But uh, I think I think this is a great app uh, for the. Mac, I think there's a lot of other features I haven't even figured out about yet. I'm still getting to know this app. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it, guys. I would suggest it. Only $30 available in the Mac App Store. So, uh, go pick it up.